What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about the boys season three, episode three. This will be the recap for it. Episode three opens with a young starlight preparing for one of her pageants, one of her little miss hero pageants as a kid. Since we know that stuff that we've had talked about as it pertains to the revelation of compound v the revelation that she doesn't really have natural born powers and the re revelation that her mom was of course using her for her mom's own personal interests not necessarily the interests of starlight's best benefit in terms of starlight's perspective things that we know have already been addressed in season one but to see a flashback like this was very nice so it's 17 years ago to be exact in this flashback she's doing a performance involving britney spears then we jump to present time where starlight is watching homelander's recorded meltdown and so is homelander on a repeat side Cycle until Ashley interrupts him and finds him naked. So I guess he was masturbating to himself. I, I guess she informs him that his popularity went up from his live speech meltdown for being unapologetic. Butcher is shown recovering from his 24 hour soup rush and killing gunpowder. Huey reunites with Mother's Milk, Frenchie, Butcher, and Kamiko. He tells Butcher that they need to hide Ryan because Newman instead Edgar know where he is. Starlight has a meeting about Supersonic's role on American Hero and his position history with Starlight. There's commentary on ships and fan popularity here that I really enjoyed. The boys go to see Ryan at Mallory's again. Mother's Milk has a grudge with Soldier Boy, we find out because he killed Mother's Milk's family when he was a kid. Supersonic meets with Starlight, who tells him that he should turn down the opportunity because Homelander is a threat. A train has a reunion moment with his brother. Ryan is shown playing connected or connect four with Kamiko. Kamiko and Ryan then share a conversation about regretting their powers. Now, this scene is a scene I think many of you need to just remember when I say this because it's foreshadowing different events that go on later on in the season. So inside Mallory, inside the location where Mallory is, she's informed about Newman's suit status. Butcher confronts her about the knowledge of Mallory's prior connection to Payback as a case manager, and Mallory reveals her involvement with Operation Ch Operation Charlie. She was in charge of trafficking cocaine into the U.S. I believe that's what was mentioned. She was responsible for helping sell the drugs to minorities in the States. Payback is present in these flashbacks, and we see Mallory meet Stan Edgar. Mallory catches Black Noir and Stan having a conversation, and Noir has his mask off. Back in modern times, Homelander meets with Starlight and Ashley about adding members of the Seven. Homelander recommends adding Deep back, but that makes Starlight uncomfortable due to their history from the pilot episode. Starlight tries to blackmail Homelander over the flight crash footage, and he tells her to do it because he'll just terrorize America in return. Butcher is still have is still having bad effects from those 24 hours of suit powers. Um, you are still you're shown Starlight calling Huey and telling him about Homelander's insanity becoming worse. Huey says they are onto something that can kill Homelander. A train reunites with his family and is told about Blue Hawk's terror in the black community. Something that I that that they use very uh, directly and heavily to talk about Black Lives Matter, that current stuff, and again all the current trends. The political themes in this season are probably the most timely they've ever been. So Butcher then goes back to the room where Mallory's flashback continues after an ambush. Mallory finds Black Noir with a disfigured face from the explosions, explaining why his mask is always on. Count Countess tells Mallory that the Russians killed Soldier Boy with this weapon and took his body. This event is what seems to spark Mallory and started the boys to take out Vaught. That's what I gathered. That's just what I gathered. I might be wrong. Butcher is mad about knowing how Mallory approached him years ago, asking him to join the boys after Becca went missing because Mallory was aware of this weapon the whole time. Ryan and Butcher get into an argument before he and the boys leave. Back at Vault International, a dinner is had to celebrate Deep's return to the Seven. Homelander compels himself to Martin, to Martin Luther King for how they were both vilified in the media. He then says he's free at last because of his recent public meltdown. The boys meet back up at their headquarters and Frenchie reveals he was being detained all day by little Nina, an old Russian friend of Frenchie's, who is a major problem also for him this whole season. Butcher says to set up a meeting with little Nina because he plans to go to Russia. This, of course, would involve trying to track down anything related to Soldier Boy. Supersonic reveals to Starlight that he talked to the producers and he's sticking around because Starlight stuck around for him when it got tough. Butcher vomits in Huey's face while they talk. Back on American Hero, Homelander and Starlight select Supersonic to join the Seven. 
The Deep is then revealed as another selection on live TV in front of the other contestants, which they, of course, don't like because it's like, okay, well, why was I here? Homelander reveals that he and Starlight are in a relationship, and then the Hashlight home light but of course that the hashtag home light is their cup couple tag i guess you will say that's their couple name so he starts saying to put out hashtag home light which i think of course will be something you start seeing in our actual world since this is a hit series but of course it's all for the fan base watching the series i like how this episode ended to kind of highlight how things with again the media are not to be trusted even as far as reality tv things can be staged things can be not as they appear they can be presented to you one way because they they know how people will respond to it if it can hit an emotional core like there's certain things i like how they're trying to compensate on the fact that the media certain things in place that we put up put above ourselves to say oh we need to listen to them they know how we operate they observe us they know what what makes us sad what will get us riled up and they purposely will do things or might stage certain things to either make you happy make you talk make you upset do all these different things to just kind of get under your skin and of course they all have their own agendas for it they don't really seem to care about you i really love all the commentary that's going on so far with the political aspects here the home light stuff is going to be of course stuff that of course deals with everything going into the future episodes and the future exposure of things with Vought, with homelander there's a lot to still come in this season so far for me in the season i did think that episode three was my favorite but then we got to episode four you got to episode five six seven eight like just from here on out it just started getting more and more progressively compelling the season so far has been good but season season three episode three's ending is just i think where i was like okay this is this is taking some interesting directions and it just got better as the season progressed again there's going to be released week to week this is going up before the episode airs uh because again they're all going to be released tonight at 3 a.m eastern on june 3rd this is june 2nd at this point so by the time you're hearing this anyway but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below did you love episode three when you watch it or if you haven't what do you think about this and what do you expect to happen going forward if you haven't of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limit us any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video